Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. And the Oracle was right once again. I predicted that Shona Robinson would cut money from the NHS rather than from independence, and that's exactly what she's done. She's cut over one hundred million pounds from healthcare. That's exactly, I think, what people want, isn't it? That's what they expect. Oh yes, we don't want to be healthy. We want to make sure independence goes through. But hey, let everybody die on the way to doing it. And this includes things like mental health, national care, uh, basic stuff in hospitals. It's the lot. This woman is being ruthless, but she's cutting from the wrong places. And she's going to let people die. This budget is a budget of death. And the SNP will have blood on their hands. And make no mistake, it's only the beginning. They're also raiding things that they previously ring-fenced, simply because they have to lie. They have to do this because they've, they've just so incompetently run an economy for 17 years and all them chickens are coming home to roost. This is what happens when you put a woman with an IQ of 86 in charge of finance and it isn't going to get any better. You have to wonder what else she's going to cut. Meanwhile, as I reported earlier, uh, Angus Robertson is still getting all his money to produce those flimsy little brochures that are so, so very vitally important to the people of Scotland. Not healthcare, of course. Oh, no, no. But as they're dying, at least they'll have something to read. Thanks very much. <laughs> Bye.